<laughs> I'm just messing with you. Stay tuned for my best EDC light of the year. Well, it has been a big year for flashlights on the channel, and as always, I try to stick to the ones that I like the most, and I'm going to show you a few of those today, and I'm going to show you my pick for best EDC flashlight of 2016. Now, flashlights come in all different sizes. They take all different battery types, from your small keychain flashlights to your EDC size flashlights to your holster style flashlights, and then search and rescue type flashlights. But what I thought I would do is just wrap it up in a quick video today, and show you the one that I carried most throughout the year. So when I started getting excited in flashlights, I picked up this Phoenix EL1 and I used it on my keychain for several years. There is a lot of good keychain flashlights. I actually did a video on my top five keychain flashlights. I carried this Lumen Top tool for quite a while, AAA flashlight. You have the newer ones that have come out, these flat style flashlights like this SGN three from McArmy or the Nightcore Tip, which is a very cool flashlight, USB rechargeable. They go on your keychains, but I slimmed down my keychain. I'm actually carrying a key bar now, as you noticed probably in my latest uh, EDC update video. So I've gone to a pocket flashlight. Now, when I think of an EDC flashlight, an everyday carry flashlight or a pocket flashlight, I'm not necessarily thinking of something uh, this size, like this TC12 from Thunite their newest version, which we're going to take a look at probably in a future video. 18650 size. And again, for me, even though they come with a pocket clip, typically just too big to carry in my pocket. Now, if you have a job that requires the use of a flashlight, maybe you do inspections, maybe you do maintenance, maybe you, uh, you know, a mechanic, any kind of trade where you would use a flashlight a lot, and you needed a brighter light, a thousand lumen range or something like that, you could easily attach this to your belt using the holster and get by just fine. I, however, only use my flashlight when I'm walking the dog. I use it a ton around the house. I use it a ton at night in and about my vehicle and any other time where I just need an extra amount of light. So for me, EDC size is right in the middle. So once I switched from a keychain flashlight, I started to carry a AAA size flashlight right here in this size range. There's a lot of good options from the UltraTac, Thrunite, uh, Lumentop, Nightcore, Phoenix, Streamlight, you name it. Everyone pretty much makes a decent flashlight in that size range. Plenty bright enough for EDC use, small and lightweight carry, which is what I like. But I really like the CR123 form factor, so lights like this uh, jet beam that we just reviewed and of course the o lights the s1r and the s1 the s mini and there's several others out there on the market now a lot of people say well i want to carry a triple a or a double a sized light and that's fine it, that would make a great light for a kit a survival kit a get home bag a car uh kit a light or something like that and have a backup double a AA or triple a great for an emergency situation because it's a readily available battery but with the CR123, you can do the same thing. You can get an extra one or two CR123 batteries. They're not all that uncommon. They do sell them in a lot of grocery stores now or sporting goods style stores. And for me, uh, I recharge it uh, when it's dead. So for me, since I carry it every day, it's not a big deal that it's a CR123. And again, I like that form factor the most. And it's the size that I keep going back to. So the funny thing is I never did do a video on the Eagle Tac D25C, which is my favorite light of 2016. I've had this all year. And although I get a lot of flashlights that I swap it out with because I want to test them for a week or two, I always put this one back in my pocket. It's a fantastic light and I actually never reviewed it on the channel. So that's what we're going to do today. And I'm going to show you why it's my favorite light for EDC of 2016. Eagle Tech D25C is a fantastic little EDC light. Again, it has that form factor that I just love. A very deep carry pocket clip, which is nice. Nice texturing with the knurling on the outside. It has a titanium coated bezel on the front. A very, very slight orange peel reflector. And then of course, a fantastic dual stage tail clicky so it's flat it will stand unlike the lumen top which won't tail stand and again it takes that cr123 or in my case i put an rcr123 in there and i just recharge it run times and features on this light outdo any other light that i've edc'd all year the eagle tac d25c does come in a cool white which you see from most 
other manufacturers and also a neutral white which some of the manufacturers are starting to offer as well. So you can get it both ways. You can also get several different LED versions of this, which is very cool as well. An XML2, an XPG2, an XPL High V3, or in this case, the Nichia 219, which is another one of my favorite LEDs. Brightness is going to vary depending on which LED you get. You can get over 500 lumens with the XML2, although that is cool white. Me, I chose the neutral white Nichia, which gives me a max of 300 lumens. That is my favorite lumen setting for an everyday carry light. Again, if you need something brighter, you step it up into the 18650 size. But for me, something I put in the pocket, I never need more than 300 lumens. And I often don't even use it on its brightest setting. The D25C has three different lighting levels, which you can boost by changing a setting in the flashlight. You can also turn memory on and off. You can turn the moonlight on and off which is a low lum low moonlight if you want it to be down to half a lumen and it also has seven special modes all that and it's very very easy to use sometimes you get lights that are very complicated to use when they have all these different modes and the eagle tack is something that is super simple to use once you have it programmed the way that you want to having things like user replaceable glass which you can change if it gets scuffed up or scratched and things like the option to get different LEDs make this as close to a full-blown custom flashlight as you can get. Operation of this light is super simple as well. You simply just press the tail cap all the way in. You click it on, you click it off. It's as simple as that. Now, if you have memory turned on, which I don't, it will go back to the bright brightness level that you left it on. I have mine set to just go to the lowest mode. And then from there, you can half press the tail uh, clicky and that will switch you through the three different brightness levels. So we have our low, we have our medium, and then we have our high, and then of course it's gonna cycle back down to the low. I like having that half press on the tail clicky much more so than having to hold it down like you do on some other flashlights to change modes. And then the other cool thing about this flashlight is that you can twist the head all the way tight and that will give you a turbo and a strobe mode. So if you want it, uh, to come on to its brightest, you simply just leave the tail or the uh, bezel screwed all the way down. Me, you just give it a half twist in the other direction, and then it goes back into your three different modes. Again, you can turn that memory on and off. So you can also program this light to have dimmer, low, and medium settings. And what I mean by that is in group one, you can have it come on to the moonlight, which I don't have here. The moonlight would be dimmer at half a lumen or one lumen, and then it would go up to about 20 or 30 lumens, and then it would jump up into its highest setting. The way I have it set is group two. So basically what that does is it gives me a brighter low right off the bat, right around six lumens. Then it gives me a 60 or so lumen setting, which I use all the time. And then of course it jumps it up to its highest, which for this LED is 300 lumens. So I like that the best, but if you're a fan of memory, you can certainly turn that on. If you're a fan of moonlight, you can certainly uh, select that group. And then it has seven special modes which I don't often use, but they're there if you need them. To access your special modes, you simply just turn it on, go to high, and then you double click. That'll get you into your special modes. Now, number one is a fast strobe. Number two is an even faster strobe. Number three is a flash. Number four is a fast SOS. Number five is a slow SOS. Number six is a beacon. And then number seven is an even faster beacon. So you have several different options. Again, I probably wouldn't use the strobe much on this light, but it is there, especially you, since you have direct access by tightening the head. But I would use a mode like this beacon to either signal someone else when I'm on a trail or something at night, or just to signal someone in the event of an emergency. Let's do some wall shots to give you an idea of the beam. You can see it's much more spotty than the S1 on the right. It's also a lot warmer with its color balance, which is what I like best. We can go up to another brightness level and you can see much warmer on the left there with the D25C. You can see in the bathroom here that even on the medium setting, you get plenty of light. So it having a tight hot spot doesn't make that much of a difference. And the color reproduction is fantastic. A great deep carry pocket clip, although I most often just carry it right down in my pocket. 
The Eagle Tac also does come with a great holster. It's a very durable nylon holster. So if you're a big fan of a holster for your light, it comes with a nice small one. You could attach this to a pack or even put it on your uh, belt or something like that. It does have a full size belt loop there if that's how you like to carry it, but it would make a great addition to anybody's kit or anybody's pocket, especially with the holiday coming up. So all in all, this is one of the best lights that I've ever used. Again, I always stick this in my pocket after I'm done reviewing another light, and that really says something. It takes a beating. I've dropped it multiple times. I love that it has that titanium-coated bezel. The pocket clip is nice and deep carry. It has those different modes you can put it in, but just the simple operation of turning it on, having it come to my lowest setting, and then being able to quickly pump up the brightness just by half pressing is very nice as well. If I want it bright all the way, I just twist it a half turn, you get your turbo mode, and then you get instant access to your strobe, and then you can change the memory on and off and moonlight on and off very easily uh, by following the instructions in the booklet. So it's just a fantastic light. I love the form factor, the size. It only weighs an ounce, so it's very lightweight, and that is why I'm calling this the best EDC light of 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Please give it a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Please share this video to your friends and family on your social media. Now I'm going to put a link below to Going Gear where you can pick up this light or any of the other LED versions that he has in stock. You can also, of course, pick it up through my Amazon store if you shop on Amazon. So I'll put a link below to that as well. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm also going to put a few links to recent videos that I've done in the past week or so. Quick release the cash, watch it fall slowly.